Hey guys, Manhater here, and today we're going to be playing some Minecraft Story Mode. Now, um, I know it's an older game. Um, wait, wait, delete. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I know it's an older game that came out a while ago, but I think they've released some new episodes of it. And I've played a bit of it before. And it evolves around the choices that you make in the game and changes depending on what you do. Nothing you built play. can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. Sounds like a Lego. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Cool. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. So I think it's starting now. Yeah. Yeah. It's starting now. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Wow. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> He looks awesome. <laughs> it only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. 
If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Open your chest. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Hmm, with the steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last <laughs> time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay yes. focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. Yeah. That didn't That's sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? Yeah. What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. Let's go. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. Yeah. A yeah. team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. Oh.
Come on, you should have said something. We know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. <gasps> nice pig, losers. Oh, oh you mm. sad, you're a sad guy. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. Wow. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Great. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? All right. We are not ready for this. I'm pretty sure we need team name. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, <laughs> Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Hmm. Nope. Looking in the chest. Sign the good five. So the sign. Yeah, that was me automatically to the side of the good five. The good five. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? They have the beacon. Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. Good for We're gonna lose. Our design is better. A creeper that shoots fireworks is cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. So None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. Yeah. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? <laughs> Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! <laughs> The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... 
the warrior whip. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't <laughs> talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. Okay. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. now. Let's go. Press the Q, press the Q, press the Q. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Flip the switch. Here goes nothing. Yeah! Oh man, that looks so cool. Dude, we'll win this for it. sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. Yeah, it was. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! He was aiding that pump. The lava's getting closer. He's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. You guys stay and save the bill. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. Save that bill. Save it. Don't let it be destroyed by lava. No. Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Wow. Okay. Oink. What's this? Oak tree. Look at the oak tree first. Look at the oak tree. Might be something in there that I need. I don't know. I didn't look at the oak tree last time I was here. I don't know. Uh, oak points. Look at hmm. Points. Pig tracks. Pig tracks. Just oink if you can hear me. Yeah, Ruben. Oink if you can hear us. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Hey, Ruben, I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? There's a carrot, Ruben. We got a carrot for you. It's quite funny because one of my friends in school, Ruben, said. These so, definitely Ruben, belong to a pig. Get a carrot. You want it? No way Ruben made these on his own. You want it? Look, look, dude. Ruben! Where are you, buddy? Yeah, Ruben, I hear some you? pigs. You can tell me. I think. <laughs> Ruben, are you in there? Ruben? Ruben, come here, boy! Do you need to look at the hood prints? Can someone tell me, please? In the comments. Tell me if you need to. Stupid pigs. I don't think you do. Look at the pigs. Ruben! No, not you, but pigs! Hey, all pigs but Ruben, shut up! Everyone shut up. Every pig shut up. Because you ain't Ruben. So no one keeps. Oh, it's so hard to control. Yeah, jump. This dude. Oh, 
Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Yeah, Ruben, it's getting scary. Smoldering costume exam. Oh no! It's Ruben's costume! No! Ruben! Ruben! Oh no, you in there, buddy? Please don't. Please. Please. Oh, jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. You want a carrot? I'm glad to oh, I'm see so you. happy to see you. Ruben, run! I think, I think we're good. We made it! Get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. 
You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, what? I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. What? There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for, what's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? Wow. Just as well. You know, you could come with me. Yeah. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my wow. charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. That's actually cool. You just keep a crafting table down here? Yep. Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Open the chest. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. <laughs> of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. <sighs> Jackpot. Oh. Just place the pieces on the table. It's like, it's like crafting the Minecraft. Let's get... Yay! See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. Axel was right. Everyone loves a creeper. Awesome. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Hey, I'll be a gracious winner, but that's it. He'll get one handshake and one good build, good build. Nothing more, nothing less. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. Chicken survive a creeper in the spell.
balls take a while. Burns! It burns! Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Rich. Pull yourself together and follow me. Go! 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 So, yeah, that's. So, the when we're making the deal, I need you series. to let me do the talking. Hope you okay? guys enjoyed it. Um, I just don't want anything to screw this up. Yeah. Or. See you guys Anyone. later. Bye.